Well, it looks like not many people are in the optic house for me to say goodbye to. But it is what it is. I'm going getting some breakfast. Now I'm going on holiday. Now that is a serious looking breakfast. We need skillets in the UK because these are incredible. Goodbye, naked man. I go into the modern room and I just see all the cannons open. I was like, man, someone's someone's robbing us right now. But where? Ooh, baby. This is exactly where I need to be right now. Running a little bit late, but ah, whatever. I'm sure I'll be fine, he says, and then misses his flight. Yes, 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 yes. So I just turned up at the airport and I like got my ticket. I was about to walk away. Luckily, the woman behind the desk said, do you have a return ticket? Of which I don't. I was going to buy one when I got there. However, if I would have turned up there without a ticket, they wouldn't have let me in the country. So right now I'm buying a return ticket to New York just so I can get into the country. Let's hope I get it. Cayman Airways, Tom Gior apparently is my name, but Cayman Airways, Grand Cayman, 12.15, on time, gate nine. So quick story time, um, they tried to, what the hell? Somebody left a shoe behind. So story time, when I bought my ticket, it didn't say online that I needed a return to like get out of the country. I was just gonna book it whilst I was there because it was like a quick, oh, I'm gonna the Cayman Islands, I'll just buy a ticket, and I'll sort it out later. So I didn't know that I couldn't like actually get into the country without a ticket. So they, they spent an hour behind the desk trying to organize me actually getting another ticket out of there. And then I was just like, this is taking so long that I just went on my phone, went to Expedia, bought a flight to New York so I could just get out of the country. And then I did it in like 30 seconds and they were like, oh, we just tried doing this for an hour. I was like, yeah, I know. So yeah, I'm good to go and um, waiting to get on the plane. I have a window seat as well, so yes. Cayman Airways, 12.15. It is currently 12.29. My gate hasn't boarded yet. And right now, I've actually managed to get my vlog uploaded only six minutes oh no, ago. So it was 20 minutes late yesterday's vlog, but I got it up before I got on the plane. So that's a win, win, win for me. It's not looking good. I say that simply because they've just turned off the screen that said our airplane flight number and like Grand Cayman on it. So uh, they may be bringing a new plane through here instead. Bear with us. As soon as he's done, we will be able to get authorization to start boarding. Mm. This time, TSA is doing sure a security check. TSA, Wait. TSA is doing a security area. check of the plane, so that means like there's police and stuff on it, so hopefully everything's okay. Let's do this. On the airline that I'm on, you get a free rum punch, so I definitely got that. And I met a friend, I'm gonna introduce you to the internet. Cheers, good sir. We're, uh, no, we're not gonna get too drunk on this airplane. Not, no. qu not, not quite, oh thank you very much, you can thank you. And then obviously I picked up a a K Brew. It's their hometown beer, and I just found out you can do a tour of it. So whilst I'm there, I may do just that. K Mini. <laughs> my tray, I have a beer, and on this tray, oh my gosh, the greatest watch collection I've ever seen. <laughs> this is amazing. What is that one? This one is not a really great one. It uses a uh, ETA oh, this, movement. This what does that mean? Yeah, ETA is a company that yeah. makes a lot of watches for oh, that's a lot beautiful, of, a lot of movements for a lot of companies. Yeah. Just nothing but C and C and boom. Wow. Oh, wow, that is actually all of it. But it's a seven mile long beach all the way down. It's actually five miles. Though. Oh, it's actually five miles? Yeah. I what? don't know how it got deep. That makes no sense. Five miles. <laughs> It is humid as all hell here. I can feel like my t-shirt's starting to stick to me. But Ron is just in there going and get in a car. I'm gonna catch a lift off him to the airport because he's like, like, uh, what, what's the way to say this? Like, so I wanna say sports company. He owns like a beach rental jet ski thing um, right next to where I'm stopping. So I'm gonna catch a lift off him all the way to the beach, which is not that far. So it's like five minute drive. And uh, yeah, look at this. I could rent a Mustang if I wanted to, or, uh, or is it Jeep Wrangler? I think tomorrow I'm gonna come back and check out the prices. <sighs> well, that's the dream, and I might come back in a few days. Also, shout out to British Airways. Just saw that in the background. Um, that's the dream. That is also the dream, but that's more convenient. But this is what he's driving for now. And it, um, it's like twenty dollars a day. It's perfect. This is the main place for people visiting. Yeah. Like to cruise ships. Come oh, right this is where the cruise ships come. Yeah, right up in here. Yeah, that's a big ass boat. That's not messing around. So this is this is this is your this is your yeah, this your gig. Is it. This is it. Dude, what a prime location. This is it. Oh, I like how, yeah, of course, you're right next to the bar over here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow, this is brilliant. Oh, sweet. Man, I wish it was sunny right now. Yeah. It's like nearly six o'clock at night. All right, 
We made it. We here. We up in this place. And uh, I'm pretty happy with this. this. is a nice looking room. It was supposed to be one bed, but it gave me two. So I guess like one day I can sleep in this one. Next day I can sleep in this one. Next day I can sleep in this one. And if I wanted to, I could rent it out to someone. Perfect. But I'm pretty sure I just tripped the power in my room. And the reason for that is I cut right. Look at this light. When you look at this light, where do you think the light switch would be? I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to leave it in the comments. Just, just let you guys go crazy about it. But when I finally found the switch and plugged it in and tried to get it working, uh, it went just and now that light doesn't work, this light doesn't work, that light doesn't work, and neither does that one. So I did a great job, so I'm waiting for someone to come up here and fix it, if they can. Well, it has a very nice, simple bathroom. Hello there. And this is all, all, all nice and neat. It is dark out right now, so you probably won't see anything. I don't even know. Oh, shit. I don't. I was going to say, do I have a balcony? I don't have a view of the sea, unfortunately. I have a pool view. How do I get out here? I'm trapped. Ha! I made it out. So here's the pool. This is one pool. And if you go through there, there's another pool. And then down there, I think that's the main reception area. But there's supposed to be a restaurant down here somewhere where I can get some food. So I'm going to go do that now. Oh, actually, I'm going to wait for the engineer. Then we're going to go get some food. I can't lie. I'm, str I'm struggling with everything. Like, my brain's completely failed. But that was so, so awesome of Ron to offer me the, the ride. A lot of people might be like, why would you take a ride off a stranger? The one thing is, like, I don't advise anyone doing it unless you're a good judge of character sort of thing. And I could be completely wrong, but got a ride off him. He was a really nice guy, and he showed me all up and down the strip, so that was really, really cool. It's like it's like a seven-mile-long beach, but it was actually five miles, like he said, like, because he's, he's been here, like, on and off for the past 20 years. So, um, yeah, he's got, like, a... He's got, like... 10 jet skis or something like that, boats and all this sort of stuff, but really, really nice dude. So I'm trying to go get some food as fast as possible. And then I spoke to the front desk and the front desk said that they've, they've got a partnership with a scuba diving school and they start scuba dive lessons between eight and 12. So I'm hopefully gonna go do that tomorrow. All right, well, Egbert is fixing the lights. It was the lamp that was just tripping everything out. And you know what? I actually don't think this hotel has uh, elevators. It's not a problem. Oh, it does. What? Or are they not working? Oh, wait a minute. I think they're out of service. Uh, do not enter. Okay, definitely won't. It's like, what's your name? And he said, Tony. I was like, oh, I'm Tom. Very nice to meet you. And he went, but you can call me Egbert. I was like, okay, sure. Oh, hell yeah. This is what I'm talking about. It would be a bit convenient if I was a bit closer to this, but I really, really do not care. I just want some food. <laughs> I can already tell this trip is going to be the trip that I exactly wanted. I just like went to the bar. I should have vlogged, but I just got so caught up in conversation with people and grabbing a drink and stuff. Um, I just got talking to like a, an awesome couple um, just about like what I do as a job. It, it's like when you tell people you do YouTube as a job, their faces go from like, like, hey, how are you doing to you do what? It's like the most confusing thing in the world, but nonetheless, the Oscars are on. I'm stupidly tired. So I'm gonna go up to the room, chill out. I'm not gonna go, go do anything crazy tonight. Just gonna relax. There's a fish in the water, apparently. Diving in this tomorrow is a fact, and at 8 a.m. I can start doing my diving lessons, which should possibly take about a week. So that's a, that's a big amount of time to take up, but it is, it is what it is. I'm gonna try and get it done, and uh, it should be all smooth sailing from there. And we have lights, ladies and gentlemen, thank God. You know, this hotel room is actually really nice. I'm actually really happy with it. Also, I must say, I ate food, and I ordered a drink called Five O'Clock Somewhere. Um, because the place was called five o'clock somewhere. So this was called five o'clock somewhere. And bloody hell, I wanna, I wanna go to bed, but now I'm like ready to go out and party or something like that. But and as, as sad as this sounds, I know, I know I'm in the Cayman Islands, but it's a Sunday, so everywhere closes really early apparently. And it's nearly nine o'clock, but the Oscars are on. So I am gonna kick back and watch the Oscars, fall asleep, wake up at 7 a.m. and start my day. Whoa, 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 what the hell is going on with this screen? Can we please not be doing this? Also, I'm wearing no pants. Ah, man, it's five o'clock somewhere is what this drink is called. And it's gonna be five o'clock tomorrow by the time I find out what actually happened with the Oscars, because right now, this TV is not working. Um, what the hell? And, and the creators what? Of generation. Casey, Casey Neistat is on the advert for Samsung. And now my TV's died. And duct tape and parking lots and guts. No. We have ideas we need to share. No way. You know it's not the size of the production that matters, it's what you Oh know. my god, Casey, you fucking beast. We don't create because we have to. We create because we love to. <laughs> Potato Tom, 
well, I need to start my day. It's like half past eight now, so I really need to get downstairs, get some food, and start the journey of learning. This was a really comfy bed. Um, there is a lot of what sounds like building work going on in the hotel. It's like, it didn't start till eight o'clock, so that's absolutely fine. But I woke up once throughout the night. It was a comfy night's sleep. That's about it. So I'm going to get up, get a shower, start my day. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow for my next daily vlog. Leave that like rating button. Even if you're watching on a TV, just punch your screen with a, a thumbs up fist. And uh, yeah, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 6pm for the next day of vlog. So until then, thanks for watching and adios.